right, good afternoon. Mark here with another video. And today we are in Tiffin, Ohio. Got uh, rolls of paper. We got a dump here at this facility, but I'm waiting on this truck to pull away from the dock so I can back in there. They only got one dock here. Okay, he finally got out the way. Now it's my turn. sit there and do his paperwork sitting at the dock with me sitting over there waiting to hit the dock like dude come on you the only one with something to do today uh, some people's children I'll just sit here at the dock and do my paperwork while this other driver waits on me. <coughs> because it's all about me today. Nobody else has anything to do but me. Yes, I'm irritated. They didn't say nothing to him about not sliding his tandems to the back. It's one of the requirements of unloading here. Tandems to the rear, and then you have to undo your red airline so they can lock you out. He didn't do that. Come on, hit the dock, hit the dock. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go. All right. Undo our red airline, then they'll put a lock on that. So I can't pull away from the dock with them in there. And we got our tandems to the rear. I'll even put my chalk under the tire, or in front of the tire. So we picked this load up in um, uh, Hartsfield, South Carolina, load of paper. Uh, it's the same load we did uh, a couple weeks ago. And from here, uh, we got to go to Pontiac, Michigan, which is Detroit, pick up some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pick up some auto parts from GM and run them down to Memphis. And they gave me a a really tight schedule to to accomplish that load. They wanted me to be there by 1 a.m. tomorrow morning 
to pick it up, but there's no way I can do 1 a.m. It's uh, 4 o'clock now. I still got to get a 10-hour break in, and I'm still uh, about 2 hours and 15 minutes from Pontiac, so there's no way I can be there by 1 o'clock. Uh, be more like, uh, oh, let's see, let's see, six, four, five probably be more like six o'clock before I get there in the morning and then I have to be in Memphis by 8 a.m. Thursday morning so I'm gonna have to hope that I don't have any foul ups no traffic nothing in my way to slow me down and I just might barely make it and we'll see And if you can see that sign, tandems must be placed at rear most position of trailer. Disconnect driver's side red airline. That driver broke the rules. They didn't call him out on it. All right, so I had to step out of the truck for a minute. Getting kind of aggravated. Been here for well over an hour and they haven't even started on me yet. And then I got uh, Heartland Express up my ass about this next load of auto parts up in Michigan. You gotta be there at a certain time. It has to be delivered at a certain time down in Memphis. You gotta be on time, can't be late. They did tell me that I could pick it up late in Pontiac, Michigan, but it has to be there between six and eight in the morning. Uh, Thursday morning and I'm like look I'm still sitting here they haven't even started on me yet I mean once I leave here I got to get as close as I can to Detroit which you know there's no place to park in Detroit that I'm aware of so the only thing I know to do is to go to Perrysburg which is around Toledo about 40 uh, 40 miles from here and just park there for tonight and I got to take a 10 so if I don't get there, let's see, it's, yeah, I might not get to Perrysburg until 6 o'clock. Then I got to take a 10. Then got to get up, do a pre-trip, and then make the 120 mile or so trip up to Pontiac to go get the load. I mean, it's, <laughs> oh, well, you got to be there on time. You got to, you know, just irks my skin or gets under my skin you know they 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 give you these time frames you know pick it up at this time deliver it at this time and they don't think about traffic they don't think about delays they don't think about crap like this you know they think okay, like here i had a three o'clock appointment here it's uh 4 30 right now so i've been here for an hour and a half now the way they think is that you get here at three o'clock at your appointment and you immediately hit the dock and you're empty and out of here in 20 minutes you know they don't think about the other two trucks that were here when i got here they don't think about the this guy i, I guess is apparently on break or something because he hasn't even started the light's still green so he's on break so they don't think about things like that and this just takes up time the longer I sit here the later it's going to be before I get to Pontiac to get the next load and the later it's going to be before I can get to Memphis to deliver that load so you got all these variables that dictate you know what time you pick up what time you deliver and Heartland doesn't think about things like that and then they look at me like well why can't you be there on time why can't you deliver the load on time why, why are you gonna be late well let's see the guys in there taking the lunch I can't, you know, I, I can't go in there and grab the guy by the neck and force him to unload the damn trailer. So he's going to take his time and get it unloaded when he feels like it. 
Then I might get down the road, I run into an accident, sit in traffic for half an hour, or there's construction or weather, you know, you got all these variables that can interrupt your schedule. But Heartland just thinks that everything should be perfect. You know, well, as you know, it's 750 miles, so that should take you uh, 12 hours. You know, why is it going to take you more than 12 hours to go from Pontiac, Michigan to Memphis, Tennessee? Well, gee, how many reasons do you want, Heartland? You know, I wish I'd have got my ass in school 25 years ago, 30 years ago, and got me a nice fancy desk job. No, I had to be a truck driver. Well, <laughs> oh, the crap continues. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's after 5.30. Still sitting here. They haven't unloaded me yet. Uh, apparently, they don't have room for this load, and they don't want to load. So, I'm a uh, work-in. So, even though I was here on time, I was here at 3 o'clock, like they asked me to, uh, they don't want the load. Well, then why did you ask for the damn load? You asked for this load. You had us haul it up here. I'm here on time. And now you say, whoops, sorry, uh, we don't have the room for it. Uh, we don't need the product. And then to top that off, I just lost my uh, my next load out of uh, Pontiac, Michigan. So, you know, I was really looking forward to this week because I had two really good loads to start the week out. Picked up in uh, Har uh, Hartsville, South Carolina. Brought this uh, with this load, brought it up here. And then right behind that, I had a load in Pontiac, Michigan, uh, Michigan going back to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Two really good loads to start the week out. I'm like, finally, you know, I'm going to have a good week at Heartland. I've never started out a week with two good loads. It doesn't happen. Usually I get maybe one good load, and then right behind that I get some, you know, crap that a local driver should be doing. But, no, because of these asshats here... Uh, they given that load away to somebody else because I, I wouldn't be able to make it down to Memphis anyway to get it unloaded on time. So, you know, I hauled ass to get up here. Now, I didn't get this load. Well, in Hartsville, I had a 1 o'clock appointment, one uh, 1 p.m., Monday afternoon appointment. I got there a quarter till noon, so I was there an hour and 15 minutes early. It wasn't until 3.30 that they put me at a door. So they were two and a half hours late. And then it took them two hours to get me loaded. So I left there at 5.30. Drove uh, until uh, Withfield, Virginia last night. Got there about 10 o'clock. Got up this morning. Hauled ass up here. Didn't stop once. Got up, did my pre-trip. Hauled ass all the way to Tiffin, Ohio, nonstop. Got here just in the nick of time for my appointment. And now they say, well, yeah, we can't take the load. Sorry. You know, you know, you know, they don't give a shit. Nobody does. So I'm sitting here, you know, I'll, I'll get detention, but you know, that that's minimum wage. That's crap. That's not worth it. And then I lost, uh, my next load. Man, that was a, that was a good paying load. That was a nice run down to Memphis. So I've lost that. So now I'm going to have another shitty week, all because of these asshats here. So, All right, so we ended up coming to Pontiac, Michigan anyway. I'll be a day late and with a different load. Well, the load's going to the same place that the other load was going to, uh, which is Memphis, Tennessee. But I'm not taking it to Memphis. I have been instructed to take it to our uh, yard in uh, Mount Juliet. Let this truck go by. Come on, truck. A little tight up in here, so I'm let this truck go by before I back up. Okay, 
10. Is that it? Is that the right one? No, that's not it. I'm looking for 504. That's 540. That's not the right trailer. 10 540. I need 10 504. Oh, how much you want to bet they put the wrong trailer down on the paperwork. I bet you that's what they did. Almighty. Some people's children. Ten five four zero. I need 10504. So we're going to check this seal because there is no 10504 here. So the seal number, yep, 507978. So they screwed up and got, got me the wrong trailer. Okay, yep, back to the shipping office. Okay, so we finally got out of Pontiac there at GM place. Had to uh, go let the shipping office know that somebody put down the wrong trailer on the on the bill. So she just marked it out, put the right trailer number in, and then uh, signed her name to it. So. Just a few extra minutes, but we got out of there with the right trailer and the right load. And we are on our way down, not to Memphis, but to Tennessee. So this load here is basically the same load that they took away from me uh, yesterday. Picking up in Pontiac, going down to Memphis. Except this load doesn't deliver until... Friday morning so they're just gonna have me drop it off in Mount Joliet Tennessee at the terminal and then uh, another driver will take it down there for uh, Friday morning delivery and then hopefully tomorrow morning I can get something out of Tennessee which I'll be in the uh, Nashville area so hopefully I can get something out of there quick and get down the road and hopefully salvage something out of this week started out good and then everything went to pot and and I don't know maybe we can make it good again but right now I need to get out of Detroit all right well plans change again so <clears throat> Coming down 75. Get through uh, Toledo. And then they, uh, they send me a message wanting me to go to the Loves here in North Baltimore, Ohio. And they say, well, driver is there with a load going to Columbus <clears throat> and he ran out of time and he can't deliver the load tonight because the load has to be in Columbus by midnight so we need you to go there and swap trailers with him and then you can deliver that load in Columbus tonight now they had me another load right behind that going to uh if i can figure out how to shift gears here another load right behind that picking up in columbus going to kentucky to make up for the mile difference but now i just heard uh the dinger go off that they took that load away from me
So anyway, we're going to Columbus. And then I don't know where we're gonna go from there. I done lost my, my next load, so who knows where we're going. Yeah, of course, hey, look, traffic light. I'm going to assume all these people are turning left because I'm going right. Oh, I tell you, this, this company really gets on my nerves. And, yeah, I'm not going the way that wants me to go because that's two lane all the way down there and this load's heavy. So I'm gonna jump on 15 down here in Finley and then uh, run 15 over to 23 and go down that way. <clears throat> you can't plan anything with this company. I mean, you just can't plan nothing. You get a load, you think you're going one place, I thought I was going to Memphis, and they say, no, uh, we'll just have you take that to uh, Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and drop it there at the terminal, which was fine, because th that load didn't deliver until Friday at like 6 a.m. So by taking it to Mount Juliet, I could get rid of it uh, tomorrow morning and then get up under something else and get on out of there. Now I'm not even doing that. Now I'm going to Columbus, which is only 102 miles or some crap uh, from where I'm at here in North Baltimore. Okay, so we uh, we made it to uh, Columbus and uh, we dumped that load off over there at that Walmart drop yard. And we're here at the, uh, at the terminal in Columbus here on the west side of town. And... Um, yeah, I don't have any messages, uh, any loads, so I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I'm just going to sit here tonight, get up in the morning, see what they want me to do. So uh, that's all I can do. But uh, let's see what the uh, what the asset cam caught. Okay, so I'm coming up to this traffic light. And you're going to see a couple of cops over here on the right-hand side. And if you look closely, you will see that they are arresting someone. That guy right there, hard to see, but he's there being arrested. All right, now watch over here to the left. You'll see this little white car right there. Now watch what they do. Oh, oh they just got to get in front of me. Oh, no, I can't get behind you, Mr. Truck Driver. I got to get in front of you at the very last second because I'm in good grief okay so uh that's pretty much all i got this video is getting kind of long so i'll go ahead and end it now so uh thank you for watching and uh i will catch you in the next one